Artifact loadouts, <laughs> they're finally coming, officially. I will say, I am sadly skeptical about the system that they just revealed, but let's get right into what it is. I want the whole dev talk. So the system is broken up into two different modes, quick loadouts and custom loadouts. Quick loadouts are designed for the kind of player that doesn't exactly know which direction to take their character in. Perhaps they don't particularly like character building or they don't know that much about it. This is going to take data from active players and equip a set of artifacts that are appropriate for the character. Then you can choose whether you want it to take equipped artifacts as well or or only unequipped ones you have available. This feature is obviously going to be amazing for newer players and players, again, who just don't really care about that aspect of the game and just want their characters to be effective without having to think about it. This part of the system is totally fine. I think it's great and it's a good inclusion to have. I, however, am not the target audience for this. So let's go into custom loadouts now. This is, of course, a very limited view of what the system can do, and of course, it is subject to change and it is not live yet. Custom artifact loadouts are going to allow you to choose the set you would like to take artifacts from, the main stat you would like, and two priorities similar to how we have with artifact sorting. A main priority and a secondary priority. So if you need a lot of crit rate, you can just say crit rate main priority, crit damage secondary priority, then you can choose whether or not you want equipped artifacts or unequipped artifacts used. It then appears to show you what it plans on equipping, and then you can choose alternatives. Sounds all well and good, right? Well, here's the problem I have with this. Right now, in the gift that they show, there is nothing on this UI that indicates a save feature where you can save a name this set or anything of the sort. There are three buttons there at the end, check alternatives, generate again, and equip. Okay, now this poses a problem because this isn't what we needed if this is all it is. If we can't even save at bare minimum the criteria that we just laid out, that's not ideal. We need to be able to save a full set of five artifacts that we choose ourselves without some criteria system deciding it for us. Even if we could save these criteria settings that we choose, that is not perfect because say this scenario comes up. You want to equip Let's say you're Kaya with an emblem set, but you don't want him to have your best emblem pieces because you still want that on like your Raiden or your Yaimiko or something like that. Well, if you just say take from the emblem set and I want a lot of crit rate and secondary crit damage, well, it's probably going to end up taking from characters that you didn't intend it to. Instead, you would need to find some way to target the stats you want without taking it from the characters you want, which with only two priorities is likely impossible. Like sure, you can just try to use the unequipped artifacts selection instead, that way you're not taking from your Raiden, but the whole point of the artifact loadout system is to take from characters that are currently using stuff, but that doesn't always mean you want to take the best, it just might mean you want to switch between like your Kaya and your Candice, or whatever it may be. With an artifact set like Emblem that has a potential like 10 plus characters that can use it properly, it's really not ideal for a set bonus like that. This system, the way it appears to work, would work excellently with something like Pale Flame, which you probably only have maybe one set of, and at that point it's like, okay, my Eula's using it but right, right now, I want to use my Razor, so I'll switch it back and forth between them, and it'll work totally fine for that. It's just a criteria-based system does not work when you have like dozens of sets for a single artifact set, and you don't always want to use the best one in a specific substat category. We need to be able to save a specific set of five artifacts of our choice in a loadout that could be equipped at any time without needing to mess with criteria. I'm really hoping they just forgot to show us something very obvious with the system, because right now with what they have shown us, it is extremely worrying, and I really think we're just getting the monkey's paw version of something we've been asking for for years at this point. I get that this can be seen as being negative about a good system, like a potentially good system, but there are worrying things being shown here, or not being shown in this case. And while this isn't fully implemented in the game and can still change, is exactly when criticisms need to be brought up about the system, because it can still change easily. I I mean, it can still change in the future, but you know, we're being shown it now. Moving on, because there are some more things, there are some teapot improvements, particularly relating to sorting and uh, filtering out different furnishings, which is good because it's, the, it's getting ridiculous. The editing screen will better remember where you were, and more importantly, when you're placing companions, you can now see their friendship level, so you don't need to double check every time you're putting companions down. Another good change. For hangouts, the display will now prioritize characters with whom you've completed the hangout events and unlocked hangout memories, as well as hangout memories that you've already unlocked. They added another reminder to claim your dailies 
after you've already finished them. I, I don't really know why the, the, the encounter point system made this more apparent, but I mean, sure. More reminders to not forget to do a very basic thing is good, I guess. Party slots are going up from the current 10 maximum to up to 15. I was actually surprisingly starting to think that 10 was a little bit too low. Now, if only we could get more map pins. Trial runs for characters will now be able to be chained, so whenever you complete one, it sounds like you'll be able to just automatically go right into the next characters. Good change there, too. The borderless mode option has been added to the PC display settings. In line with their efforts to constantly improve Genshin's graphical capabilities, they added a dynamic character resolution to PC and consoles. The picture they show here may be pretty subtle, but on the right, you can definitely see that things are a little bit more crisp, and even the color contrast kind of looks a little bit better for some reason, or maybe I'm just imagining that one. This one's a very bittersweet dev talk. You know, it's great to finally hear news about artifact loadouts, but the system, man, like I, I'm just so worried about it because we really, really need it. This problem gets worse and worse every patch. I know it's going to get pushback and people are going to be like, just be happy for what we're getting, but this, it just doesn't appear to be what we were asking for. And if this is all we ever get because we're like, look, we gave you the system. Well, that really sucks. <sighs> this system just does not look adequate enough. I mean, it's got some conveniences, that's for sure. And it's excellent for newer players, and just as the encounter point system was. And it just like that system, it doesn't seem to be targeting the veterans that have been around for a long time, have hundreds of artifacts and equipping different sets on different characters has just become a real pain point. So if you also think this system does not appear to be enough, then let it be known so we can hopefully get a positive change or maybe just clarification on that. It's not what it appears to be. And there is more than what they showed, which is the real hope. I, I just hope I'm wrong. What do you think? Do you think? think that they're just not showing something I'm I, I really if there was something like that why wouldn't they show it off uh, let me know what you think in the comments you know in any case thank you to my patreon members and my supporters nope nope that's not how it goes thank you to my patreon supporters and my members thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one Attaboy!